Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Brick Brigade 99. Thanks for coming back. Today we're in our Lego Brick Brigade Studios, again, slash Red 5 Trading Company uh, workshop. And behind me, you can see on my table, I've got my mini figures set up for my next whatnot show. And on that table there, you can also see there is a box, so a couple of boxes there that uh, we will be opening up. That's the point of today's video. We're gonna go through and see what we bought this week. And you might be interested at the deals and parts and pieces that we found. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. And of course, don't forget we're giving away a $100 Lego gift card. Make sure that you check out the contest rules in the video link that I'm gonna put right up here. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's take a look at the first smaller box that we opened. So this is a seller that I bought from on Whatnot. It's probably first time purchasing from him. He seems like a nice guy. Gave me some really great deals. So let's see the quality of the products. So in this lot is a bunch of figures and a bunch of parts. I love buying bulk part lots. They're great for building uh, incomplete figures that you might have, or even for substituting parts that may be a little less than uh, than ideal if you're trying to build a real quality figure and you want to make sure all of the parts in that figure are uh, real nice in great condition. So so here is Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back. Looks like he's in good condition. Oh, just sent his lightsaber flying. There we go. He used the force and pulled it back. But so far, Luke is in great shape. So that's a good start. I'm going to try not to bump the camera too much. I have to figure out a better way to film, maybe get an overhead uh, camera mount that doesn't have anything on the floor for me to bump into. That might be the next best thing for me. Next uh, YouTube purchase. We got Saisi Tin. Hope I'm saying that right. His head horn piece, great condition. We've got Palpatine's lightsaber. Then we've got a lot of torsos and helmets. Let's take a look at the condition, make sure that they're okay. I'm pretty sure I paid, you know, like a dollar or two for this. So Stormtrooper helmet is a little dirty, but for the price I paid, it's not bad. Like Harry Potter hair, nice Imperial helmet, Rebel helmet, a little bit of junk on it, but that stuff can be cleaned up. So I'm not too worried about it. Like I've said in other videos, when you're paying uh, the price that you pay for things, should impact um, how you feel about your purchase. Like I know that I bought this lot for real cheap, so I'm not gonna be super upset if something isn't perfect on it. That's just kinda, you know, you pay, you get what you pay for. Old man Luke, great condition. Another rebel helmet, rebel helmet, good shape. Ooh, I can use this for a few figures, that's nice. Good condition, I definitely need this hat. Little Anakin, pod race Anakin. Those little goggles, hood. All right, and of course, this is old school chewy without the pupils. And I believe this is brown, not reddish brown, which is uh, means it's definitely older. So far, so good. Let's check out the next bag here. Got a mixed lot here of torsos, incomplete figs, um, heads, helmet pieces. So this looks like it's. Uh, either Padawan Obi-Wan, looks like Padawan Obi-Wan maybe, pretty good condition, no cracks, a little imperfection on the head, but that's not a big deal at all, I believe this is an at-at driver, good condition, Jar Jar Binks, good condition, I think I may have a few of his heads laying around, this one is in pretty good shape, another Imperial torso, the old firefighter here, those figures about a buck a piece, so those firefighter city type figures when you're when all is said and done worth about a buck a piece let's see those legs are cracked at the bottom but that's not a huge deal i have a ton of orange legs anakin's hair that's a nice piece nice helmet in good condition darth vader helmet in good condition excuse me nice dark red hood 
very good condition. This is Endor Leia's torso. Nice to get that piece, especially for what I paid for this. A little bit of schmutz in there, but we can get, definitely get rid of that. The Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol, a little sponge and hot water. Nice helmets, old school hair, and another hood. All right, great. So far, so good. This is the other half of that small box. Let's take a look here. Ooh, that's right, this is the Ezra with helmet, which I got a good deal on. He is in excellent condition, and he comes with his very hard to find helmet. The figure itself isn't that hard to find. The helmet is usually putting the two of them together. That's where the real money is. So for those of you who are Star Wars Rebels fans, you'll know that Ezra's gun and lightsaber, at least in the earlier episodes, um, seasons, are one and the same. So he has a very unique uh, lightsaber. So that's that. One of the old school Lego NBA players with the spring legs. No idea if this figure is who he's supposed to be. It really doesn't matter. It's kind of just a cool piece. And for what I, what I paid for these things, it's... Definitely all good. He's in good enough condition. Move on to our next bag here. The old red torso Rebel Pilot. I believe this might be an A-Wing Rebel Pilot torso. Nice condition. Death Watch Mando torso with one arm. I have tons of arms, so that was a good pickup. Anakin, minor swing wear. No issues here at all. Another nice figure. I believe this was... Uh, Christmas Vader torso. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's Christmas Vader torso. Christmas sweater Vader torso with the Death Star in the middle. Got the Rebel Pilot torso. This is one of the, not the original ones. It's kind of, there are a bunch of, of these uh, versions of this particular orange flight suit torso. Some of the newer ones have a ton of detail. The old ones are limited in detail. This one's kind of in the middle era. Got an Anakin here. Also in very good condition. Nice. We've got a Hoth Imperial Snow Trooper torso. Very good condition. Hard to tell. I think Kit Fisto has green in here. So I don't think this is Kit Fisto. But it's a nice torso. And those lime green hands are hard to come by. So that's a good score. Even though I, they're not the right hands for this torso. Not a big deal there. The Rebel Flight Trooper I believe, Fleet Trooper, excuse me, Rebel Fleet Trooper torso, decent condition. I believe this is maybe the Emperor's, one of the version of the Emperor or Maul's torso. This may be Darth Maul. I believe the Emperor has a clasp or something up here, but I'll have to check Bricklink and sleuth that one out. It's a nice backpack. That's pretty cool. So here is one of the reasons I bid on this particular lot. In the comment section, feel free to write whose legs those are. And then of course, it's mismatched with the Rebel Fleet Troopers torso. Here we have another Padawan. I believe this might be Obi-Wan Padawan torso and legs in excellent condition. This droid is not in good condition. There's a ton of sun damage and he doesn't have any markings, but the head is useful, so. The, the torso, not a big deal. These parts are not hard to find, um, and it's really not even matched correctly. So we'll definitely replace that with the correct torso, uh, droid astromech torso, and uh, it'll be worth a few bucks. So that was excellent. Let's check the next bag from this. So far, I have to say I'm very pleased with this seller. Um, he is on Whatnot. His name is Pew Pew Bricks. Highly recommend him. Pew Pew, P-E-W, P-E-W, Bricks all one word. He also has his own Lego Facebook group. Um, I'll put a uh, link in the in the video description and you can check them out for yourself. But uh, so far, highly recommended. Pew Pew Bricks. Shout out to Pew Pew. If you guys have any experience with Pew Pew, if you're on Whatnot as well and you know Pew Pew, feel free to mention that in the comments. Cool dude. The shows are always entertaining. It's funny. He tells it to you straight. You get good deals. Excellent Death Watch figs. Got this super battle droid with the blaster arm. Nice figure. I paid a good price for this. I got a really good deal on it. Thanks, Pew Pew. Much appreciated. 
And on this one, we got the Cad Bane breather with the hat. That was a nice pickup. And the old school skeleton with the mechanical swinging arms. These are really cool. They're great for mocks, even if you're not trying to put it in a set. A lot of people will put these, make their own mocks. The old Death Watch Super Mandalorian Super Commando. I heard someone once in a video call it a Super Commandalorian. I thought that was a pretty cool uh, misspeak. It stuck with me. I like calling them that Super Commandalorians. I thought that was pretty funny, so pass that along to you guys. Yeah, the old Minecraft. I believe this is a zombie. I'm not into Minecraft. My son is. He would know for a second. I'm pretty sure that's a Minecraft zombie. Or his long blaster. Get the last bag. If I can open it. The last bag of this particular lot. Excellent condition. Well, this is a resistance pilot. Nice condition. Another Death Watch fig. Or half fig. We got burnt Anakin or battle damaged Anakin, whatever you want to call him. I'm pretty sure it's like battle damaged Anakin. So here we've got Padawan Ahsoka. Her head's a little worse for wear, but that's all right. The rest of her is in good condition. I'm pretty sure I have a few of, of her heads. This is the Clone Wars. Ahsoka with the big blue eyes. Another B1. All right, let's take a look and see. Move these guys over a little bit. Give us some space to work with. All right, let's take a look at our next lot. So this is, I forgot the name of the droid. I'll look it up and I'll put it here in text, but um, I bid on this guy. That's the name of my company, Red 5 Trading Company. If you haven't checked us out, check us out. We're on eBay, we're on whatnot, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, Red 5 Trading Company. We sell all kinds of things, not just Lego, uh, but we definitely have been focusing on Lego. All right, I got these capes so a lot of people get worried when they see capes with folds in them it's really simple to get rid of the folds you just get a warm steamy iron and you just steam the folds and creases right out of them i really don't know why people overreact to that so much but uh i guess they just don't know how to iron <laughs> it always boggles me you get some really good value on on capes if if they're not incredibly creased like some creases you are you know they're, they border on permanent but some of these light creases, if you ever see a cape or something like that, you can grab a good deal on a cape with a, with a slight crease. If you have an iron that produces good steam, you just don't want to hold it and smush it and and bake the the cape with the, with the heat of the iron. You just want nice steam. A lot of times you can steam the creases right out. Crazy what people will pass up. Especially if it's a valuable cape. A lot of those Star Wars capes are not cheap. Nice brown cape in very good condition. This little vehicle here. Let's just kind of spread this out a little bit. You don't need to necessarily go through every single piece here. This was just kind of like a, I don't want to say a junk part slot, but it was a bunch of stuff in here that I could use. And I paid next to nothing for it. So these legs are a little meh, but the color is cool. So they were hard to find. Droid legs are always good with the clip. This is useless because of the condition that it's in. So there's some decent stuff here. Nothing fantastic, nothing great, but I paid like a dollar for it. So it's definitely worth the dollar, especially with that cape. The cape is what made that, that lot worthwhile because the cape alone is about four or five, six bucks, depending on who you're buying it from and the condition sometimes more on legs especially the short ones and this one has a pattern printed pattern on it off the top of my head i don't recall who this is but i will look it up so that was another excellent deal let's check out this monster bag here there's a ton of stuff in this lot there it is. There it is. Ooh, a lot of stuff in there we got this big jumbo keychain, bad cop keychain. If you put a battery in it, I have a bunch of small batteries. I'll have to see if they have the type of battery that goes in there. We'll see if he still works, but that was We've got a mix match here. Everything on it's in good condition, good condition. Bunch of legs, more legs, little puppy. 
This is not a droid. This actually goes to a, I believe, a SpongeBob character. Maybe a version of Plankton. A Ninjago fig. Patrick. Patrick's are worth some money. And a smaller black cape. So this isn't a long black cape. The longer capes are, just to show you the difference. Well, this is a traditional length cape, the brown cape underneath, and then this is the smaller, shorter cape, which is like for hobbits or kids or different different short figures. But that's a cool pickup. Firefighter legs, some droid legs, another one of those torsos, tons of legs. Legs are always helpful when you buy minifigure lots the way that I do, because a lot of times you get incomplete figures or figures that are broken, and it's always a good idea. Here we go, this, I believe, Chima legs i could be wrong um but it's always good to have extra parts and pieces kind of like a boneyard so that way you can oh, here's a nice cape that is a different color cape i'm gonna have to check this out and see who this belongs to usually when you find different pieces like this it means that they made this like one cape for one particular figure usually indicates value not always but usually does so i'll have to check that out figure out who that belongs to heads here yellow heads generally speaking not worth as much as the flesh tone heads because usually they're for mass-produced figures every once in a while you'll score and find a head that belongs to somebody that was a rare figure we got some hair and different helmet parts so there's a bunch of cool stuff in here and i think i paid like a couple of bucks for this so definitely worth the price that i paid and then some let's check it out we have two more big piles to go through. A ton of figures here. A ton of parts. Look at this one. Look at the size of this. Oh, and I forgot I bought this head lot as well. Paid $13 for this lot. You want to guess why? Put in the comment section if you think you know why this lot is worth at least 13 bucks. You're smart. We'll figure it out. the size of this lot so we're not going to go through every single piece here because that would take an entire video in and of itself and i don't think anyone cares in particular about all the tiny little pieces but just to give you a sense there's some pretty good stuff in here well worth what i paid for it and then some. And again, like I mentioned in the past, don't a little, let a little bit of dirt on something prevent you from picking it up, especially if it's a good deal. If it's just dirt, most of the time that can be cleaned off. And sometimes I, um, you'll find pieces with a little bit of Sharpie on it. And I made a video, I'll put the link to it right up here, about how you can try to safely remove Sharpie from Lego because it works. There's no point in passing up a great deal on something just because it has a little imperfection on it that you can probably take care of with just a little bit of know-how and a little bit of effort. So this is a good lot, especially for what I paid for it. We have one more, I believe one more. And this cool net, the net alone is worth about four or five bucks. We got one more lot here to check out. It's another big if you guys like these types of videos, unboxing videos, videos about Lego, please make sure that you check out the rest of our videos. We do all kinds of videos about Lego. We also have another video channel, another YouTube channel called The Outdoor Explorers. If you're into, you know, you're into being outside, fishing, exploring nature, that type of stuff, my son and I love to be outside exploring nature so check us out we have a, another second youtube channel that we're just trying to get off the ground it's called the outdoor explorers i'll put a link to it in the description for you to check out if you guys have found this video interesting please like and if you're not subscribing make sure that you subscribe and check out our rest of our channel because we have some pretty good content i hope that you enjoy it i know we've gotten some good feedback from some people lately it's a nice little lot here three bucks for this cad bane breather good price Some nice stuff in here as well. Another cape. Looks like a Batman cape in there. I definitely need those. I have a bunch of unfinished Batman figures. Another good pickup. 
if I find something that is very interesting, I'll take it out and show you. Another Super Commando, Mandalorian Super Commando, Super Commandalorian. I have extra helmets. Oh, there's his helmet anyway, so that was a nice pickup there for sure. Some more excellent stuff in here. Again, this seller, his name is Pew Pew Bricks. Make sure you check him out. He is on Whatnot. I don't think he's on eBay. I could be wrong. I, I, he hasn't mentioned it, but I know he's on Whatnot. If you guys aren't using Whatnot, check it out. It's a really fun app to both buy and sell on. And if you do decide to check it out, use my code and you will get $10 for signing up. Um, a $10 credit for signing up on Whatnot when you make your first purchase. You get $10. I get $10. And if you decide to become a seller, use my seller referral link and you get $40 and I get $40 just for selling. It works because I tried it. I used someone else's link and we both got the promo deal. Who doesn't want 40 bucks? I know I do. Aeolus Akira. A bunch of really cool stuff in here. You know, let's, let's see what's in this one. This one looks like it may be worth reviewing. That's pretty cool. Don't know what that is. Looks like it's some type of a droid, but I've got to check because I'm not too familiar with that one. Terrible condition. But I'm pretty sure I knew that when I bid on it, so I don't really care. Not great. And this could possibly be General Veers. I'll have to double check. There are a few um, torsos like this that people just see it real quick and they think, oh, that's General Veers. There is another figure or two that have this similar torso to General Veers, and there's slight differences. So you gotta make sure you check that out, especially if you're bidding or buying a General Veers, you gotta make sure that what you're buying is accurate. If you care, I do. That bag was okay. I can't complain overall though, because I've gotten some amazing deals, but that part lot, especially I think I paid like a buck or two bucks for that. So I definitely, definitely got my values worth on that. You do have to be careful with parts lots. That's why you don't, you don't overspend on parts lots. And generally speaking, you kind of have to understand that when you're buying a parts lot, some of it's going to be hit or miss. You know, unless you flat out ask the seller, hey, what's the condition of this lot? And they said, oh, it's great condition. And then it's not. That's when you have a problem. But this was as is, as seen. So these small legs are hugely important. So you got the, the reddish brown and then you got the dark brown, which is cool because I definitely need those. Those are great for the Lord of the Rings dwarves. Nice Magna Guard torso. Always helpful to have. And got some mini axes, some snakes. Sweet. Got some nice stuff here. So this, for those of you who know, if you know, you know, this was just a throw-in. This was... There may be someone who can recondition this. I can't. It's well well beyond my abilities. There are some people that are amazing with how crafty and handy they are. But there are some people who can recondition these legs. So the blue super battle droid, for those of you who don't know, is the rare super battle droid. And it's worth a lot of money. So that's what makes these particular legs potentially valuable. I mean, they're not worth anywhere near what they would be if they had the correct clip. But someone may want them. So if you're just going to build a display piece, you could even glue those straight to straight to the torso if you're not a hardcore collector. You know, this dude, I forgot what his name is. And then we have the P13 that I got for a great deal. Thanks again, Pew Pew. Appreciate that. Excellent condition. Pew, pew. Oh, one left. I don't know how I missed this. So we got bottom of Vader's helmet for that particular version of him. My Star Wars torso, another Star Wars fig. I think this might be like a skier or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but... Some cool stuff in here. Another good lot.
Nice. Let me see. Might as well open these up as well. Show you what's in these. Half of a Genosian battle droid. Yellowed out torso. Another Death Watch torso and some black legs. Rebel backpacks from Hoth. Some Star Wars blasters, some accessories. You know what, let's just take a look at these. We might as well, we'll just fly through it. Another torso, Jedi torso. Super battle droid torso. Little Anakin. These helmets are sought after by people who are into the Castle and Kingdom series. This is, I believe, from Monster Fighters. Nope, not Monster Fighters. There's a figure who has a similar hair piece to this, who was uh, like an orange color hair on Monster Fighters. Part of BB-8, missing the headpiece. We looked at these already. We looked at these already. All right. So... I guess, guys, for today's show, that's it. I appreciate you hanging on, holding out. If you watched to the very end, congratulations. We appreciate you being here. If you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we look forward to seeing you again next time on Brick Brigade 99. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to enter that contest, and all the best.